Hello and welcome back to Starry Project. In this episode we're going to be continuing our virtual off-road trail in the Game City Skylines. We're going to continue that trail down around to the uh, waterfront here and you guys are welcome to come along for the ride. So before I start today's uh, work on the trail here, I want to do a better job of uh, my tour of this city. The uh, last episode, the tour kind of did not come out that well. So, uh, so let me show you around here first. And we're going to zoom in here on the initial residential area. Uh, that was the uh, in the back story of the town. This is the initial residential area, which is built on a pretty tight grid. It has a main street that's at the bottom of the screen, and then uh, residential in that grid up above. I'm going to rotate around here. This is one of the few areas that I have done some detailing on. I uh, haven't done a lot of detail work. I do like doing some detail work, so I, I do plan to go back and kind of detail some more of the uh, city part. But uh, this is the school area. We have a high school, which has uh, a green space area to the right of it, and then a uh, football field behind it and some tennis courts. It has a small parking lot, and then this other building Below the school is actually an elementary school, which has a uh, park behind it. And then if you go along uh, Main Street here, this is the uh, Main Street. Again, I apologize if I zoom in and out a lot. I'm still, like I said, getting used to the controls for moving things around. But uh, this is the Main Street. Off to the left of Main Street, there is a park, which has its own little parking lot. And as you come along Main Street, you have uh, police and fire on the left side here. Uh, you have some retail on the right side. You have the cemetery on the left. Um, also on the right is... Let's see if we can rotate the way I want to rotate. Also on the right, we have a uh, grocery store. Um, the parking lot here did some landscaping in, in front of these uh, this kind of strip uh, store area. This is a movie theater, uh, some other retail, and uh, and then when you go, well, there's a uh, Wendy's and uh, I think there's a Wendy's here, then some other retail. I believe there's another fast food restaurant. I should say uh, Whataburger, I think, over here on the right. Um, yeah, so we have... Uh, and then back behind this is where all the residential is. Uh, there's medical, I believe, over here on the on the right side is uh, medical and fire. And on the left side, I think, is the uh, police station is over here next to the um, next to the movie theater. So let's zoom back out on this, and then this is the uh, residential behind it. So I'm going to do some more uh, detail work kind of behind here and add some more retail along here. Zooming out a little more, this residential area I really just started. And uh, this is kind of just built on this central circle here with um, some kind of town services over here, police and fire, um, then medical, and then residential. And then there is a um, apartment complex over here on this side of the uh, let's go this way and spin around again here there we go zoom in here so we have an apartment complex over here on this side of this little this little section of town it has its own little downtown its own little uh, some retail and then residential back here I'm going to put something in the middle of the circle I'm not quite sure what yet but, uh, but we'll put something there Moving on, we have these um, brown areas, if you're not familiar with the game, this is all industrial area. Uh, there's a train station here and some industrial 
and then more industrial on this side of the highway. And then this is the... But I... Oops, that seemed a little too much there. Sorry about that. This on the left side is what I consider the older part of downtown. Is just our kind of standard um, low density. Um, yeah, that's all the low density commercial over here on the left. And then as you go to the right here, zoom back out. As you go to the right here, here's the uh, the main part of downtown. Um, which uh, this is going to be a park here. This big green space in the middle uh, will be a park eventually. And you've got some high rises around it. And then over here on kind of the north side of the downtown is uh, some university buildings, some college buildings. And then there's some more uh, high density residential over here and some more kind of standard residential over here. So that is, oh, and then totally forgot. These two developments up here are the uh, kind of more freeform, newer style, non-grid layout developments, uh, residential. Uh, they have their own police and fire over here, uh, their own uh, schools over here. Uh, so there's this development right here, which I haven't done too much on. Then there's also this development, which I will be doing some uh, detailing on. Uh, this development here has a um, has a pool club, has tennis courts. Uh, it does have its own uh, elementary school, uh, but I'm going to finish detailing this uh, over here in, in front of the um, in front of the complex. I'll finish detailing that, and uh, just, there's some parks over here. And then there's all residential all around this uh, plateau here. But let's move back on to the uh, goal of this series, which is to combine my interest in uh, off-roading and uh, with the gaming. So we built this much of the trail last episode. Uh, if you haven't seen that episode, I'll put a link in the upper corner of the screen here. But we did not really do very much. We kind of just did this little um, cut out here a little bit where the trail gets a little bit wider. Um, this is the main parking lot, and it's just some of the stuff I have set aside, but uh, I'm kind of putting in stuff to make the trail look natural kind of as we go. I'm kind of just going to do it in little sections, and then I may do some other detailing off stream. So what I am going to do right now, I think the goal for today will be to continue to be, I'm going to make them section of the trail that goes down here along the water so I don't want to make it just a direct I want to make the trail a little longer I don't want to make it just a direct route right off of the um, right off of the lower section of the trail um, I kind of want to make it come off the trail up here a little further and like loop around close to the water over here and then I do want to go back and put something in over here to make it kind of legitimize why the trail didn't just got cut across there. So we're going to put probably some big boulders and some heavier tree coverage to the left of the trail where we've done already um, and make the, uh, the cutoff to get down to the water up here further. So as I like to do, rather than deleting the objects that are uh, in the game naturally, we are going to just move them off to the sides and like I said then we will uh, kind of add in assets as well more trees and rocks and, uh, and other things as we need them but we're gonna just kind of make this trail kind of follow the natural kind of terrain which is come a little close to there um, a little close to the uh, the edge of the cliff here is where I kind of wanted to go um, so we're going to kind of make it so that there's a cutout in this green space that's close to the cliff and then kind of add some some rocks back in here close to the existing part of the trail that we did already. So let's just kind of uh, 
clear out some space here close to the edge of the uh, cliff. Way. So we're going to try to come down this kind of a rocky shoreline. I did put these rocks in. Uh, if you're familiar with City Skylines, this is a um, map in the a vanilla regular uh, game map. But this area here where I'm working is actually uh, not. I actually made this kind of this river gorge kind of come through here. Um, this is meant to be um, kind of a dry creek bed up here on top of the plateau that uh, goes into a waterfall and um, and down into the river. I do not have, I think I've seen somebody use like some kind of pumping station where you can have water flow um, come out and direct water to be up there on top of the cliff. Um, I do not know uh, if, if you know what that is or how I can achieve that to actually have water flow over that cliff. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, but right now it's kind of just simulated. Uh, but this whole area here I kind of dug out from, this was all just a green forested area, so I dug out this kind of little basin that's at the bottom of the waterfall and, um, and this gorge that goes down to the, uh, to the waterfront. So this kind of, this part of the rocky shoreline, I put that in and I probably will continue it. Um, we are going to have to do some terraforming because you can see over here um, this is not looking legitimate so I'm going to try to smooth that out a little bit uh, as we get down here. Let's kind of let's continue our little uh, clearing. So I did try live streaming, doing this uh, kind of stuff on Twitch, but but yeah, my um, computer is just not not capable of handling that. So let's uh, let's see where are we going to break this uh, off? Yeah, we we're going to break it off kind of right over here. So let's get this road in, and then see what kind of issues that causes. Because when you, I am just using the dirt road that's in the, just the base vanilla game so it does I think all the roads do but it does cause um, it does do some um, kind of its own maybe the curved road I think be best it does kind of move the soil around a little bit as you put the road in so we may have to do some terraforming to kind of make it look more natural on the sides of the road because it's kind of going to add like kind of a drop off on each side of the road, which we're going to probably have to smooth out a little bit. So we're going to make this, uh, and I'm not doing, I'm not worried about, we're not putting anything in, in this zoning that it's creating. Um, I do not know how to, um, how to do it. So it doesn't have the zones there. Um, but those little, uh, the squares, if you're not familiar with the game is like zoning where you can put in residential or commercial or whatever. Um, there will not be anything up here. So, not really worried about that. I'm not really worried about doing kind of counting out the the segments for you know how um, where this road is going and how long the segments are. I'm just kind of make, trying to make it go as freeform as possible um, as it winds its way around. So not really worrying about you know the the segments or the zoning or your, you know because there's really not going to be anything. If I could find a you know a log a poppable uh, log cabin asset, I may put like a few of those like tucked in here somewhere. Um, but other than that, so yeah, this is making its own little uh, cliff on the right side, and I am not um, not too good with getting the you know the road kind of where I want it so, um, so that is kind of up higher so we're going to try to lower this down a little bit because I kind of want this to go kind of more down here at road at um, at ground level let me just try to uh, try to see what happens if I make a road down here and then connect it to that one 
I think it's just going to build up the terrain height. And yes, yeah, I am. Like I said, I, I have been playing this game for a few months, um, but in the in the non non modded game, I don't think there's a way to um, to adjust that. Um, not sure what that does, but um, so if you're familiar with city skylines um yeah so that's not i do not want it to be building up like that we're gonna have to move that tree by this wind the hairpin there it does not like that um so yeah i'm not quite sure on how to it's cutting across itself too much there um we're going to uh I do like kind of the hairpin that it's trying to do. So we are going to try to incorporate a big hairpin over here. Let's delete a little bit. There we go. Get rid of part of that. Um, so if I can lower this, I will. I am not sure. So we're going to go sharp that way. And as sharp as we can go back that way. And then bring this back over to here. So yeah, this all this uh, all this is doing. I'm gonna definitely try to smooth it out. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna if I'm going to be able to at least today get this down to uh, ground level. Um, we will work on that definitely. Let's first move these few trees that are. Uh, they went through here. Let's move them out of the way. So that might have just drawn it a little bit smoother than I had it. Yeah, that's not so bad. Uh, yeah, because we're probably going to put some some rocks kind of in the pathway itself over here to kind of make a little rocky kind of descent there as you come down to the water. And this we do have down lower so uh, in the future we will continue this further along the, uh, the water here. But let's just, uh, we need to go back in and just get everything again. Except for the roads, I don't want to accidentally move any of the roads. See if we can uh, smooth this out a little bit. Then we are going to go back to the beginning of this section that we just started. And um, let's see. Smooth that back a little bit. Brush is a little big. Trying to bring this back a little bit that way. It is kind of a river gorge area here, so I think naturally there would be some steep sections. This is kind of a place where the water naturally flowed and uh, and kind of cut its way through the through the rock here. So I'm not like too too worried. I just don't want it to be super super steep. And this is looking a little uh, a little better. Just go this way a little bit. Not sure what I can do over here. And what I can't fix, I'll just put some trees in to hide it. Because really, I just kind of want this to look aesthetically pleasing to what um, to what you would see off road. Uh, just kind of trying to smooth out some of this. But this is an off-road trail. This is not a public road that would have to be, you know, perfectly graded and, and done to you know, any kind of Department of Transportation standards. This is just kind of a a trail that was made through the woods. So uh, so it's not going to be perfect. And uh, and there is definitely trails that are on the edge of, of big drop-offs. So uh, 
So actually, I think we are going to leave it like that down here for right now. We probably will come back and put in some uh, some big rocks along that side. And we'll continue this further down along the riverfront, or the, the waterfront, it's not a river. Um, well, I guess it is a river. Uh, but we'll continue that along the waterfront. For right now, I kind of want to go back over here and see if there's anything I can put in that would make it a reason why the trail did not just go from the main part of the trail directly over to the waterfront. Um, so I may actually have to get rid of some of the trees in here to kind of see what I'm doing. I think a lot of the rock assets that I have um, are very large. Um, so let's see, so we have some, some normal sized rocks that we'll, that we'll definitely put in. But then I think, which I could do it well with that and just make it that it was just too, uh, too rocky. Yeah, a lot of it's, okay, so it does not want to put it over there. If I put it over here, I can move it. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to have to, um, have to move some of these, move all these trees so that I can place them more naturally around where the rock is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna put in, um, let's move those rocks. Uh, not selecting roads. So right now we're gonna kind of take this whole area right here. I'm gonna move these trees, move them up here, make this kind of ridge line up here along the, uh, the water, a little more heavily wooded. And then I'll just put in all new trees over over there. But we kind of make want to make it a reason why the trail didn't go directly there to there. So we're going to put in, back in some of this uh, rocky stuff here. And we're going to put in a lot more too, but it's kind of uh, kind of where I want it. Let's see what other large uh, rocks. Does not want to let me rotate it? I'm not sure if I'm using the right keys. We're going to use a Pretty big, uh, try to use a big mixture of, um, of rocks here and just kind of group them all together. All right, so let's move some of these guys right on the edge of the, uh, of the trail here. Kind of even going into the trail because I don't want the trail, the, the vanilla road is kind of just a, it's actually you know, two lanes wide, it's one lane each way, which is not really typical of an off-road <laughs> trail. So I do in some places want to have the uh, the rocks and the trees kind of come into the trail to kind of make it a little bit more narrow. So, uh, so we're going to do that over here a little bit. Let's get this stuff kind of coming in here. Make this look a little more natural. So I'm definitely open to uh, to suggestions. Whether you're uh, whether you've played this game before and you're familiar with it, and you know there's things I could be doing that would make this easier, or if um, if you're an experienced off-roader and and you think I could do stuff that would make this look more uh, more natural, um, yeah, um, any kind of uh, input or feedback is definitely appreciated. So let's see, do we have uh, I kind of like the ones we have. We're just going to kind of meld them all together here a little more. Get some over here. Oops, that's dragging a little too much. Get some more over here on this side. Rotate them around. Like I said, this, I think I said, I know I said it in the first episode. Um, this is a vanilla map, but I, I do have, it is modded somewhat. I do not have a lot of uh, assets downloaded from the workshop, but I do have a few. So, um, and I am not, oops, that's not what we wanted. Um, 
And I meant to point out when we were doing the tour, even though, um, you know, I am kind of doing this. I do have the time paused right now because I don't want any pop-ups or anything going on with the city that I need to worry about. Um, but I do have the city set up so that it is, um, even though it is, I do have infinite money, I do have the city set up um, in such a way that it is actually... Um, Makes does make sense right now, um, budget wise, money wise. As far as I'm not just throwing in stuff that uh, that a city wouldn't have um, right now. It's uh, the city budget is bringing in 111,000 and spending 98,000. So um, so it's not a totally unrealistic city where I'm just throwing stuff in everywhere. Um, but uh, let's. Uh, so kind of like the way this is looking over here, the natural stuff that came in. I think this is called mossy rocks. So it did bring in a lot of a lot of stuff onto the uh, side of it. Let's just throw in a few more. Um, let's grab this stuff down here first and get rid of it. Um, not too much stuff, but this uh, this little pile here was um, kind of what was in the Parton area originally. Um, for this map and I kind of moved it uh, or what I made into the parking area I kind of moved some stuff over there so I could use it rather than spawning in new stuff so we're just going to kind of use some of this just looking at the left side of the road here See, I like the, uh, there's some pine scrub that I think works good for looking natural along kind of this dirt uh, trail that was cleared. So we'll kind of put some of this stuff in here. Oops, there we go. That's kind of big. We're going to kind of put some of this stuff in along here as well. Bigger stuff a little bit. I don't have this fairly heavily wooded. All right, so I'm going to kind of start wrapping things up here. For this episode, that just kind of so this looks like a nice kind of little hidden trail that would lead down to the waterfront. And we will kind of We'll come back to this area again at, at some point. But that is, let's go back to the aerial view. But that is kind of what I had in mind at the uh, outset of the episode. I said I kind of wanted to uh, loop that road, the waterfront road, up and around. So it's a little bit longer of a trail, and I wanted to have a... Uh, physical barrier kind of a reason why it didn't just cut straight across so i think we've accomplished that with this big kind of part of this uh gorge here that's kind of a continuation of this cliff kind of this this little ledge here between this part of the cliff and then these rocks here i think kind of you know in my mind it makes sense so so we're going to go with that um i will probably uh forest in a lot more over here uh, behind this is the parking lot for the off-road trails um, and then uh, we'll kind of add more down here probably we'll add at some point some walking paths in this trail system as well especially down here by the um, especially down here by the waterfront so uh, um, right now let's see Rotate around this way. I'm gonna get a good camera angle here. We are going to a. Let's see. If I can find it. We're gonna. Uh, actually, I think 
assets and these assets. We're going to pop in a, uh, a Jeep over here that is down here uh, enjoying the waterfront, working on building this uh, trail. Let's see what color pops in. It kind of randomizes each one you put in. And let's see if we can zoom in on that a little better. So we will kind of get a screenshot here for the thumbnail. So you can see the scale when you put the Jeep in of how um, how large this uh, this road asset is. It's it's definitely larger than than a uh, larger than it would need to be for um, for being an off-road trail uh, based on the scale of this uh, this Jeep asset. But um, but yeah, kind of just working with what I have. But if you do know of any um, any other assets, if, like I said, if you're familiar with the game and you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. But uh, we are going to save this and then we are going to uh, we're going to call it a day there. So hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel. It really um, does help me help the channel grow. Um, and if I, I did say at the beginning of this episode, I did say in the previous episode, uh, my channel will be a combination of both gaming content and then uh, also real life off-roading and uh, Jeep project content. Uh, the real life content will come later this uh, spring and summer. Uh, right now, I do not have a Jeep that I can be working on. So, uh, so that purchase is coming um, hopefully sometime in the spring. But until then, we're just going to kind of have some fun doing some off-road related gaming content where I can find it. So hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like the video if you if you enjoyed watching it um, and subscribe to the channel. It would definitely help uh, help the channel grow, which is uh, what I'd like to do. Really love to get the channel up over 100 subscribers. That way, um, it's just my goal because I want. YouTube does not let you name a channel, a specific URL, unless you have over 100 subscribers. So right now the channel URL is just a random string of letters and numbers. So that's really, you know, my main goal is just, just to have this channel be able to follow the rest of my, um, my online presence being uh, Starry Project X. Uh, that's right now, that is my uh, Twitter, my Instagram, and also my Twitch. All three of those are at Starry Project X. So I would really just like to get 100 subscribers here on YouTube so that I can get YouTube to match those. So definitely appreciate any comments, any suggestions, always welcome. And until the next next episode, be kind to each other, dream big, set big goals, uh, because stars are for reaching. So get out there and reach for some stars, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.